Hello, everyone. I'm Ron Presley, editor of Catfish Now, and I have Brian Bone Collector Mayo here with me in the studio. He's uh, coming to us from northwest uh, Mississippi. Welcome to our Catfish Now tip of the month segment, Brian. Well, good morning. How's everything? Yeah, we're doing good. Listen, you're also director of the Mississippi uh, Catfish Trail. Is that right? That's correct. Tell us a little bit about uh, the, your trail. Man, uh, some of the greatest guys in the world uh, fish with us, I promise you. And, they, and it's good. Don't get me wrong. There's great, what do they call it, catfish class, right? Uh, a lot of great people in catfishing, but I've, I've, I've fished a lot of tournaments. And uh, the group of guys that we've got is probably the best in the world, I guarantee you. There's some of the greatest fishermen and just brothers. Well, that's, that's pretty cool, and I'll just thank you for doing the work it takes because most people <laughs> don't understand what's going on behind the scenes and everything, I think, sometimes, but there's a lot of work, and uh, uh, keep it up because it promotes the catfishing community, and uh, tournaments are one way that we get information out and so on. Where where are you at there right now? I'm uh, I'm actually at my shop. Uh, I've got a little lawnmower shop in uh, Clarksdale, Mississippi, and we uh, sell and service Bad Boy Mowers, Mariama Trimmers. Uh, about the 15th year in business, I think. Uh, it doesn't get any easier. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm well, I, 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 it, I could time. hear somebody talking in the background. I figured you must be working or something. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so here we are. We're talking about March catfishing now. And as we move, like it's pretty cold now and it's going to change by March. What what kind of tips do you have for us for uh, March catfishing? Well, typically down here on the Mississippi, um, we're in the northwest side of Mississippi. And uh, when, the, when the weather's starting to change in, in March, you know, you're, you're starting to see some warmer days and things like that. Um, we try to follow the shad. The shad will go in shallow. Uh, they'll try to stay in the sun. You know, if, you, if you're fishing a, a canal or something like that, or a little slough or a little back eddy or whatever, try to find your, your, your shallow spots. Look for your bait fish. A lot of times the catfish are going to follow them. You know, you follow the bait fish, you're going you're gonna to get on the catfish. Um, we try to, we'll try to stay in the shallows, you know, and we'll, if you're in the morning time, try to position yourself where you can fish the sun in the afternoon, you know, move yourself to the other side if you have to or whatever. Uh, but never, ever overlook those holes as you're going into those shallows because sometimes, uh, as a good friend of mine, called, he called it Big Stanky or something like that. Or well, Marty, Marty <laughs> yeah. Bardo. Yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll be in the holes too. Um, and that's my first tip, you know, just just follow the shad uh, and, and try to look for warmer water. The catfish are going to move to the warmer water as the bait fish will. Um, but there again, never ever overlook a hole. Um, down here, we got a lot of holes behind our dikes. Um, it'll be some on the end of the dikes, and then some, as they call the armpit of the dike, will be yeah. up closer to the bank. And uh, and that that forms is that water's when the water's high, it's coming over the dikes, and it's just sitting there rolling in the. And that eddy and uh, just washing that, that hole out, making it deeper and deeper. And then big blues love it. They love it. Um, I guess my number two tip would be always take your extra bait with you. Uh, don't always just count on one particular bait. I know skipjack is, is like the golden child of, of catfishing, you know. Uh, but never put all your eggs in one basket. When you're going, especially on a tournament, uh, Larry Mew said it best as I've ever heard it. He said, I always take you something extra. And uh, I believe he actually won a tournament or placed in a tournament using some Annie King's tank bait. You know? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Have an alternative. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, and uh, chicken. My boy uh, Chuck Mars Calico down, I probably hacked his last name up, <laughs> with uh, Bigfoot catfishing down around Vicksburg. Uh, he's big on uh, chicken. He loves chicken. Yeah, uh, he loves shad too. Fish, but I've caught fish on chicken. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we fished tournaments before, and I took some friends with me, you know, and uh, they'd break out a bag of chicken. I'm like, man, put that stuff up. Let's do some skip jack. They threw it in the water, caught a fish before I did. So, you know. Yeah, you go. <laughs> 
And, uh, you know, last but least, um, and this has really helped uh, Cam and I uh, quite a bit, go with your gut. If, you're, if your gut's telling you to stop and look at that hole or, or you know, it doesn't take but a few seconds, scan over it. And uh, you, you might be surprised sometimes. Your gut will tell you things you've learned over the years and you just didn't realize you learned it, but it's there. So It becomes intuitive. That's right. So always go with your gut. There you go. All right, folks. Uh, that uh, is your catfish now tip of the week. Uh, you know, adjust to that changing uh, temperature, follow the shad, find that bait, and go with your gut. That's right.